early humans evolved from apes and started migrating across the earth. They had evolved big brains and were bipedal. And they had learned to use tools and fire. These nomadic tribal homo sapiens settled all over the world, adapting, learning more about their environment and sometimes changing it too. The story of the humans had begun. Ah, I love this life. <laughs> yeah, so much excitement. I don't know why some of the people from the settlement want to settle down and eat vegetables that they plant. Yeah, so boring. We can't even move around with all the stupid plants growing and the animals won't come to us. <laughs> I know, where's the adventure in that? Early men used to hunt animals and gather stuff for food. And from what we know, they were pretty good at it. And so life was pretty good too. Now it's hard to imagine, but uh, studies tell us that for some 50,000 years, they followed this same lifestyle. Why fix something that's not broken, right? Of course, some things were changing. Their tools for one. Humans could never stop tinkering and improving their tools. From spears and axes... ...to bows and arrows. And they even progressed to fishing. Their culture and society was changing as well. They were living in bigger groups called tribes now. And in even larger groups called clans. Their sense of language, that had improved too. And so they were able to communicate and pass on knowledge about everything around them. Knowledge was building up about nature. Soon, they will be able to manipulate nature. But their main activities remained hunting and gathering. Yes, things were pretty good. Until... Are you tired of hunting every day? Low on food for your tribe? Are you tired of eating the same chewy meat every day? Looking for a reliable source of healthy food? Get some balance, try grains. Grow your own grains. Join the revolution. Okay, that was a bit dramatic, huh? But yes, everything changed about 10,000 years ago. For some reason, all of a sudden, the previously mighty hunters were spending all their time taking care of a few ordinary looking animals and plants giving them food, watering them, plucking weeds to make it easy for them to grow, and protecting them from wild animals and pests. What happened to them? Have they gone crazy or something? No, they have upgraded. They've turned from hunter-gatherers into farmers and herders. And this completely changed their lives. It was a revolution in the way that humans lived. The agricultural revolution. Agriculture, it's the practice of farming, cultivating the soil and rearing the animals to get useful products. So when and why did this revolution, this transition from 
hunting and gathering to full time agriculture happen well first off it didn't happen all of a sudden it was not a fast change like the word revolution might suggest it was actually a slow and gradual transition and a lot of factors contributed to it in fact there's no way to know for sure the only way we can study history is to explore the remains from the past and form theories ways that we think things might have happened in the past so there are actually several theories that try to explain why us humans started domesticating plants and animals in different parts of the world the most likely reason is that two crucial things happened at more or less the same time population pressure climate change now the human population had been growing slowly but steadily from around 50000 people at the time of their expansion out of africa the human population had reached 5 to 6 million by 9000 bce hey, how many how many times is that is it 10 times or 100 times maybe <laughs> that is a lot <laughs> let me go check it out yep it was getting really crowded especially considering that these were nomadic people they were used to living in a vast expanse without any people around for kilometers there were no longer as many abundant areas they could just scoot to it seemed like wherever they went people were already there and this started to put pressure on humans and their style of living the available food was not enough to sustain them gathering food was no longer enough and being nomadic or traveling around was no longer a safe option it was time for an upgrade in their lifestyle climate of the earth started to change again the long ice age ended and suddenly we had to deal with warmer and wetter climates The large animals the humans used to hunt couldn't survive so well in this new climate which meant that there were fewer animals for the humans to hunt and this put even more pressure on the poor nomads however there was a silver lining this was a very good climate for some of the grass species like wheat and rice to grow and that's exactly what they did they grew all over the place covering large stretches of land why am i calling rice and wheat grass well that's what rice and wheat are they are actually forms of seed producing grass now it's not like humans were strangers to wheat they used to collect and eat wheat also as part of their normal gathering but it was a small part of their rich and varied buffet like diet but as wheat became super abundant and other sources of food became rarer people began eating more wheat and the weird thing is that the more people ate wheat the more wheat grew around them how did the wheat do it i'll speak i'll speak yes our ancestors had has the plot against humans we wanted to make them work for us it was a long term plan but we won in the end what do you mean tell us how you did it <laughs> it was pure genius see you can't eat us raw you had to do things like winnow grind and cook us before eating 
That meant you had to transport us to your campsites or dwellings to process us. That was the first trick. We are small and we are legion. Some of us inevitably get split accidentally when you carry us back. You'll end up spreading our seeds all along the way back to your camp. <laughs> that was the second trick. And then, some of us will again get spilt when processing. And since it is not easy to digest us, we end up in a lot of the trash heaps as well. And everywhere we fall, we grow like weeds because <laughs> that is what we originally were. In time, more and more of us grew along all the favorite human trails and near their campsites. Wherever they looked, they saw only us. And they kept wanting more. They used their fire sticks to clear forests for us, clearing away the trees and shrubs and we could take all the sunlight, water and nutrients without any competition and grow and grow and grow. Species like wheat became abundant around us. And as that happened, animals that eat grass like cattle and goats, sheep, deer, well, they obviously started to come and check it out. As a result, our nomadic humans suddenly found that it was a lot safer to be around wheat. Because if they wandered away, things were not as rosy. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.